Authorities in one North Sound community now urged to shelter in place and to be ready to evacuate. So thanks for joining us at 4. I'm David Rose. I'm Aliana Gomez. The roadways in and out of Lomi Nation are closed due to flood water, stranding families from going in or out. Fox 13 Steve Kiggins is live near there. Steve, and you're speaking with residents out there. What are you learning? Well, I'll tell you what, this is just one of the roadblocks that we've spotted out here in the North Sound. These roadblocks are numerous. They're kind of spotted all, all around the area where we are, especially around Lumination, we'll tell you what the problem is. We're talking about standing water out here by the uh, Silver Reef Casino. Obviously, this is uh, not, you know, covering the roadways here, but that is the concern on the roadways in and out of the reservation here. In fact, the reservation actually had to boat in medical professionals so they could make sure that their patients could be seen today. We have a very uh, humble, happy community. Um, we all step up and take care of each other. Lacey Hewitt says she and her family are stranded on Lumi Indian Reservation. On Wednesday morning, Tribal Communications shared warnings on social media, citing Whatcom County Public Works declared all roads in and out of the reservation are unsafe for travel. Lumi medical staff were ferried onto the reservation by Tribal Police Wednesday morning. Hewitt shared these images of what the roads look like in her neighborhood. She says she's not leaving until she gets a green light. I would really like to go to town right now, and um, we really can't do that. The water's high. There was a vehicle that uh, actually caught on fire trying to cross through the water this morning. I'm close to crying because if you see over here has a lot of water. Angelica My Garcia God, says floodwaters made a mess of her auto detail shop in Bellingham earlier this week. Kayakers got better mileage along Iowa Street. Drone video shared by the city shows this part of town inundated by water. A lot of water and looking sad, looking really, really sad. By Wednesday, Iowa Street was mostly drained, but some road closures remain, including an off-ramp from I-5. <laughs> shop small, please, shop small. Andrea Evans' Apple Yarn store stayed dry this week. But roadblocks have kept customers away and they're calling to offer support. Are you okay? Is the yarn okay? Are you okay? Are you guys doing okay? Is the yarn okay? Is the yarn okay? Absolutely. <laughs> we're just stuck and we're not used to it. Hewitt says she's stuck, but safe, but wants very much to embrace families struggling through their own flood crises. Her family had to get evacuated out of the house and, um, Water was going into her garage. It was it was very scary. And you'd love to be there with her right now. Right, right. It's yeah, we're we're all stuck in this. Yeah, she's stuck. They're stuck. We double checked with the county public works department. They tell us they confirm that it's due to water over the roadway, but they don't know whether or not the roadway was damaged. They have to wait, obviously, until any of those floodwaters recede. Plus, we're waiting to hear an update from Lumination about any new developments. As we, as we hear about it, we'll be sure to bring it along to you. For now, we're live in the North Sound. Steve Kagan's Fox 13 News.